Let's do a rating game. Anthony, where is Adam Wainwright on the list of the top villains against the New York Mets since 2000? Well, Doug, it's indicative of the kind of villains that they've had since then, that, that Wayno is not number one after that incredible Met fan troll there. That was great stuff. I, I loved it. But I got him fifth of the guys uh, since 2000. Uh, number four, just ahead of him, is uh, we're the team to beat. Jimmy Rollins backed it up with an MVP in a World Series. Wow, what else can you say about that? Chase Utley, we all know, the Ruben Tejada broken leg. He was always raked against the Mets. He says now, even now after he's done playing, he hates the Mets. It's great stuff. Uh, and then, of course, Roger Clemens, you know, the bat throwing incident, beaning Mike Piazza, the incredible rivalry he had with Pia Piazza, owned him for years. Homer, 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 Homer after Homer. And then, of course, the beaning. And uh, I mean, that was drama for years and years. As, as a writer at the time for the Daily News, that was great copy always everybody wanted to talk about that so it's good stuff but because Larry was such a good player against the Mets and he had such a relationship with fans I got Chipper Jones number one even though his 99 MVP season was really his sort of you know real slam of the Mets he still is that number one for, over that period for me because I mean this guy named one of his kids Shay for crying yeah. out loud and has since had this really respectful relationship with Met fans too who seem to acknowledge you know oh Chipper we understand understand you are incredible against this team. It, it's great stuff. I love this kind of stuff. We should have, I mean, too bad we can't talk about Willie Stargell here, too, because he well, was a monster That's what well. I was going to ask. So if Wainwright didn't say what he said last night, would you consider, like, John Rocker for number five? How he, many other names were there that you considered for that list? Rocker is kind of, to me, he, he, his time ended in the late 90s. So he, the time cutoff would definitely yeah. affect him more so than What Chipper. about Jeter? Uh, Jeter would be there just because of the incredible excellence, um, you know, and the cross town stuff. I mean, another guy you could think of is Pat the Bat, Pat yep. Earl. I mean, he was always uh, clobbering away. Um, but yeah, the Mets seem to cultivate these kinds of things. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. There's and, villains, and then there's <laughs> Met killers. They're not necessarily the same category, but that's why it's great to talk about.